Right now, 10 elected officials in Genesee County are facing a recall after the County Election Commission approved the petition language. County Clerk and Register of Deeds Dominique Clemens says that a higher this is a higher number than what they've seen before, and he believes that could be due to the current political climates. When someone is unhappy with their elected official, they have the right to initiate a recall process. Here's the list of those 10 elected officials facing a recall. They range from Flint City Council members to school board members. Most elected officials are on terms of two, four, or six years. Uh, so naturally, if voters don't like something that uh, an elected official is doing, they can vote them out of office. But sometimes voters may feel, and it is their absolute right, that certain activities or uh, certain votes might be so egregious that they need to be removed from office as quickly as possible. <laughs> and there is a process in order to be recalled. The language has to be approved by the Genesee County Election Commission. Then the person who started the recall has to collect signatures and they only have 180 days to do that. However, in that 180 days, those signatures are only valid or considered fresh for 60 days. So on day 61, any signature from day one is no longer accepted. County Clerk Dominique Clemens says that his office does a preliminary check of the signatures, then the city or township clerk goes through each one and validates them. If they meet the threshold and the number of valid signatures they need, that uh, petition comes back to us and we place it on the next ballot that is either in November or in May. Right now, signatures are still being collected for the recall petitions. None of these people will be on the November ballot, but they could be there in May if the signatures are validated by the city or township clerk.